Hi guys, it's me Tiffany, also known as Talker Tiffy. And throughout my entire life, I have been somewhat of a cereal dieter. However, I've recently had my perspective on food change completely after I started reading this book called Women, Food and God. And it is about emotional eating. What she says is that if you truly loved food, you would stop when you are full because anything more than that is suffering and that really hit me because i am known to be someone that would eat to the point that i lose absolutely all enjoyment from it i am no longer enjoying myself i am stuffing myself and janine roth says that this is because of certain emotional impulses that you know we are eating for different reasons i started reflecting deeply about why it is that i feel the need to finish everything on my plate, to eat everything that's in front of me. I, I realized that the conclusion is really not because I was hungry or not because I love food. Um, it's either because I love the feeling of togetherness you get when you eat with people. I didn't like to waste. I would do everything in order to make sure it didn't seem like I was wasting food. But the truth is, you will waste food, whether you waste it in your body or whether you waste it out your body especially when you order too much. Throughout my life, I have had periods of dieting where I would count my calories, give myself extreme amounts of control, I would cut certain food groups out of my diet. And this is what Janine calls restrictors. So this is how restrictors control their, uh, their food impulses. They would give themselves really, really tight rules to follow and restrict themselves. Or I would then spiral into something she calls permitters. And this is when I would go, hey, you know what, it doesn't matter, life is short, eat whatever you want. I would binge, I would eat things saying that I want to, although I take no further pleasure in the food itself. These were the rules of which I had gotten so used to living. You know, tight control, go all out, tight control, go all out, that it really started to occur to me that I'm eating in a way that is not reflective of the care and concern I give my own body. I've only read this book recently, but I decided to share about it because I feel like it's really, really changed the way I'm enjoying my meals. I'm enjoying myself so much more and I wanted to share the guidelines that Janine writes in the book. Janine's guidelines are not meant to be rules. Rules are meant to be restrictive, they're meant to be punitive if you don't follow them, but these are just guidelines. You can follow them if they suit you. And I found that just listening to even a few of them over the past few meals have made such an impact and profound difference in the way I eat and the way I enjoy myself that I couldn't wait to come and share it with you guys. Number one, eat when you are hungry. Number two, eat sitting down in a calm environment. This does not include the car. Number three, eat without distractions. Number four, eat what your body wants. What I learned from the book is that what your body wants may not necessarily be what you are craving. Number five, eat until you are satisfied. Number six, eat with the intention of being in full view of others. So no snacking when you hope no one can see you. And number seven, eat with enjoyment, gusto, and pleasure. Now that is easy for us to follow. So it's so early on that I cannot tell you whether or not this has helped me come to a body weight that I'm happy with. Janine swears that if you follow these guidelines, you will be able to reach a body size that is meant for your body. So this is kind of your optimal natural weight and that will naturally happen if you eat in this way. Without further ado, hope you enjoy watching me figure this out. So I'm trying to eat without distraction. Brought my thermos flask. Ugh. And there is some fried rice inside. A bit chilly. Trying to feel completely immersed in the meal. So technically talking is also a distraction. So I should focus on my meal and taste the food, feel it, ask myself whether I'm hungry, which right now I am a little bit, and then stop when I no longer have satisfaction in it. So let's try that. One thing I realized in trying to focus on my eating is the sense that I'm just scooping to get to the bottom. You hear the scrape of the spoon against the corners of my flask, completing my meal just like completing another task. I kept looking for a distraction in this meal. I wanted to talk to the camera. I wanted to pull out my phone. I wanted to have something to occupy my mind and make me feel like my meal wasn't a waste of time. I'm not even looking forward to the flavor. 
just the motion of spooning your mouth over and over again. I notice that before I'm done swallowing, I'm already scooping my next bite. So I should just enjoy the process. Enjoy the meal. Yum! By eating without distraction and knowing I can eat until I'm satisfied, I realized midway that I had enough. This is weird. And so for the first time in a long time, I left my food unfinished and put it away because I felt satisfied. Uh, chicken oil noodle. When eating with people, I face a different distraction. It feels like I got so used to associating having a good time with going all out that I feel compelled to finish my food. Finish food belonging to others, ordering extra dessert, extra drinks, even when I don't really have the appetite for it. It's so different trying to actively listen to my body. Almost weird in the moment. Like I'm not paying enough attention to the company I'm in. But please let me know if you want it back. <laughs> but the surprising thing is, that shouldn't really have surprised me about stopping when I've had enough, is the ease I feel after I've asked for my leftovers to be packed. Today, Seth is making me a steak. I'm so excited. It's our eighth year. No month. sense of overwhelming fullness. Just enjoyment of a meal and of time spent together. Because we've gone out the whole day, normally when we have plans at dinner time, lunch time will be so full that I know by dinner I'm not enjoying it. But I've just been hovering on this state of satisfaction the whole day. Look how marbled it is! It's so pretty! Thanks babe! I'm You're making welcome. a grilled cheese sandwich. I really don't know whether it is possible to lose weight or to go back to my natural weight by eating whatever I want. But right now my body is telling me what I want is a grilled cheese sandwich. Oops, I can smell it. It kind of smells a little bit burnt. I think it's burnt on one side. Let's check it out. Ew. Oh my lordy lordy lordy. <laughs> no. Scrape off <laughs> the char. Still satisfying. So, how was that? I think you can see that even just across the span of about 2-3 to three days, following these guidelines has given me a lot to think about. The way I eat, the way I decide what meal to have, it's, it's liberating to be able to eat anything off the menu without thinking oh is this too oily for me is this too bad for me also listening to my body has helped me realize that if i had too much fried food my body just feels uncomfortable and i don't want any more hopefully this is something that has helped give you some insight onto how these guidelines work in practice i'm definitely not following all of them yet i do find myself reaching for food purely because i am bored and not because i'm hungry but i think this has changed the way i view food for the rest of my life. I cannot imagine myself going on to another diet ever again. See you guys next time, bye!